It's Monday morning, lads. I'm Lauren Wadsworth. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News. First, here's news from the Counseling Center. Coming up tomorrow, the presentation by the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will happen at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Bring your parents and join them and the recent Academy grads who can answer any questions you may have. May is right around the corner, and the first call to visit of the month comes from the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University team. They'll be here on the 3rd to share their school's information. Seniors, caps and gowns will be here tomorrow during lunch in the auditorium. To make this process go smoothly, your order should be paid in full and you will need a photo ID when you stop by to pick up your order. See Mrs. Abeda if you need to pick up announcement orders. She'll take care of you. Seniors, beat the rush and clear your conditions and fees. Also, remember to return your library materials by April 26th. See Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to clear those fees and ensure you get your diploma on time. For underclassmen, you also want to get a head start on clearing your conditions and fees before the end of the year so you can get your grades on time. Your last day to check out library materials is this Thursday, and the deadline to return them is May 10th. Before we head to the cafeteria, we'd like to invite all seniors to attend the Senior Sunrise Service at 6.30 a.m. this Thursday. Meet at CA Foster Stadium to usher in one sunrise closer to graduation. They will have hot chocolate and donuts for a small fee. See you there. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria to see what she has on the table for lunch today. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a restful weekend. Today we're having hot wings, and tomorrow we're going to have a pork enchilada casserole. Hope to see you then. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, please clear this too before graduation or final exams. Don't wait till the last minute. Add money to your account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy directly. Speaking of food, the freshman class is hosting a fundraiser at the Panda Express at the Highway 8587 location on April 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. Snack a flyer from a freshman council member or Mrs. Hines in the math department, then bring it with you to Panda, and a portion of your bill will go to the freshman council. Glads, the library is cleaning house and they have some free books to give away. Check out the free book cart in the library and begin building your home collection. See Mrs. HK for details. When we come back, we'll have information for other events happening this week. But first, here's Marissa Trujillo with our Gladiator Sports Update. Monday morning, Glads. I'm Mr. Trujillo with your Gladiator Sports Update. Congratulations to all the dodgeball teams, including the teachers who played at the assembly. We hope everyone has recovered from that fun game. Volleyball open gyms are happening every Wednesday in Bowers Gym from 315 to 415 until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Cheer tryouts will be happening this week, starting tomorrow and going until Thursday in the small gym from 530 to 8 p.m. Pick up a trial packet in the front office. Auditions for Fall Color Guard will take place next week on Monday, April 30th and go through May. 3rd in Bowers Gym. Please note that times are different for Wednesday and also for our finals on Thursday. These tryouts are open to ladies and gentlemen in all grade levels. Wear workout type clothes and come learn something new. No experience is necessary. For more information, contact Coach Laswell at this email address. Our boys swim and dive team is coming along nicely and managed to clock in some personal records against Pueblo Centennial. The boys are back in the pool today against the Palmer Terrors at 4 p.m. Come check it out. In Diamond News, the boys are not getting the day off like the rest of us on Friday, but that just means we can all come out and support them as they take on the Sierra Stallions on Friday at 4 p.m. on Big Blue. In track and field news, these gladiators are also working on our April day as they head to the Coronado Invite on Friday at 9 a.m. If you can spare some time to come out and cheer them on, they would appreciate your support. Our ladies soccer team plays Harrison this Thursday at 5 p.m. at CA Foster. Come help them get their momentum back. We'll have as many scores as we can on Wednesday. That's it for our gladiator sports update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Marissa Trujill, now back to you, Lauren and Moose. Thanks, Marissa. Glad. Have you tried the Thursday tutoring sessions with NHS? They will happen every Thursday until final exams. Pick up a pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. Computers will be available for all sessions. If you missed the announcement on Saturday night, here are your 2018 Prom King and Queen. Congratulations to everyone. We hope you had the times of your lives. Glad. FCCLA is bringing a guest speaker who will be talking about careers in psychology. It will be on Thursday during advisory. If you are interested in attending, see Mrs. Tucci or Ms. Ship for a pass so you can join the conversation during advisory. Also on Thursday, WSD3 is observing the PAC, a Day Without Hate initiative. Students are asked to exhibit positive and kind behaviors which demonstrate our intolerance of hate and violence. We are also asking students to wear white in support of the initiative. If your advisory class is creating a poster, those are due tomorrow to Mrs. 
Sardinia in, in room 130 for the Power Club to judge. The advisory class with the winning poster will earn a pizza party. Stop by the UNB Bank on Security Boulevard starting tomorrow to check out the annual high school artist showcase. This showcase will feature artwork produced by our peers from WHS and Mesa Ridge. The opening reception is on May 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come check out the outstanding artwork our peers have created. If you don't get the chance to see the work right away, the show will be on display until Friday, May 4th. Seniors, listen up. The yearbook staff has a great deal for you. If you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's book plus one other book from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. It's a pretty sweet deal and you should totally jump on it now. See the business office to make your purchase. Finally, our choir students will be showcasing their talents at Cabaret Night this Thursday afternoon at 5 p.m. Why not kick off your three-day weekend with some great music sung by our talented students? Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. That's all our news today. I'm Lauren Wadsworth. Remember, Friday is April Day and there's no school. I'm Moose Santos and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week. Cha-cha, real smooth. Let's go to work.